Hi, this is Dan Cooley. John Clements and I have been working at the University of Massachusetts on uh, decision support systems to manage uh, diseases and other pests. And one of the things that we're really excited about these days is a new scab management tool called RIMPRO. It was developed in the Netherlands by a longtime crop consultant, Mark Trapman. And the whole name is an acronym for Relative Infection Measure Program. And the infection it's measuring is apple scab. It uses on site weather station data and combines that with forecast data from a Norwegian weather forecasting service. I think, and I think John agrees, that it gives the most detailed picture of scab infection uh, that's available anywhere and can really help us in managing the disease. When you first look at a RIMPRO screen, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's hard to tell what all the colors and, and graphic information is, mean, is meaning, and that's because there's a lot of information there. Let's focus to start with on the red lines. That's the actual infection potential, the rim value, uh, for a given infection. So you see those red lines. There's another one over here to the right. Um, those are showing this value here. Now, remember, this is a relative value of infection. The higher it is, the, the higher the infection. Um, as a general rule of thumb, anything over 300 in a clean orchard is a significant infection period. Of course, if you have a, a high inoculum orchard, then values under 300 will also be problematic. The other thing, uh, another important part of the, the RIMPRO output is the wetting period. So if you go way to the bottom there, you can see the bar with the little blue areas. Each of those blue areas represents wetting. And not surprisingly, you can see that the infection periods, uh, the red rim values, are associated with those wetting periods. So what this screen is showing us is that we are in the middle of a very significant infection period. You can see that the red line goes off the graph up to about 1900, which I'm told by our European and Canadian colleagues is a very high value, certainly well, well above 300. So what this screen is showing us is that we're in the middle of one of the major infection periods of the year, certainly the first major infection period for this apple scab season, and it may be the biggest one of the year. Um, so interestingly, this correlates very nicely with what Liz Garofalo has been seeing in her observations of actual ascospores. For example, here uh, is a microscope slide that uh, comes from the orchard where she was trapping spores and you can see the, the little glowing specks there are ascospores. This is from one microscope field uh, and it's from a very few leaves so you can imagine the, the millions of spores that are available during this kind of an infection period. In fact, RIMPRO saw this major infection period coming. If you look at the blue line here, this is uh, the present time. So this screenshot was actually taken a couple of days ago on April 30th and you can see that there was an infection period predicted out a couple of days. It's not quite uh, predicted to be quite as severe as uh, as it turned out to be but still it was going to be a major event and we needed to decide what to do. We had time so we decided that we would apply Captan and Mancozeb, a Captoseb application to protect going into the infection period with the idea that we also, during this gap, if it developed, might be able to uh, also put on a post-infection fungicide in order to cover up. So uh, any mistakes that we made in here should be covered by uh, a kickback material, a systemic material, such as Inspire Super or Fontellus. Another nice feature that uh, is being developed in RIMPRO is the ability to show how much protection you still have. So we put on our, pro our Captozeb protection and you can see that this gray area shows how much 
fungicide there is still left. It, it estimates how much there is, and that's shown over here. So we have plenty of fungicide as the infection period starts and spores are released, and then uh, so it would essentially should have stopped the development of, of any actual infection. You can see as time goes on that fungicide gets depleted such that uh, today it's roughly 50-60% of what it was at the beginning. At the heart of RIMPRO is a, an imaginary set of 10,000 ascospores that start out in leaves on the orchard floor and mature and are released. Um, most of them mature, not all of them. Uh, most of them are released, not all of them. Some land on leaves and some don't. When they land on the leaves, they may or may not infect. Uh, so it sort of follows the fate of those 10,000 spores and estimates um, how intense an individual infection period is based on the number of spores that are available and the number that it managed to infect. And so here we see uh, uh, some spores, uh, ascospores right there. And uh, here's a germinating ascospore, and that's what uh, causes the, the big problems. When that uh, hyphal tip gets inside an apple leaf, then you have infection. So if we look at our infection today, you can see that uh, there are a couple of different ways that the graph gives you information about ascospores. For one thing, it looks at spores that are released. These little yellow-black bars that extend upward are indicating spore release. And if you look over here, you see discharge, and you see that during this event, uh, nearly 700, or I'm sorry, nearly 600 ascospores were discharged, uh, which is quite a few. And then there was more discharge a little later, a little later. And then when this screenshot was made, there were actually ascospores being discharged. Um, so those discharges are the beginning of the infection period. These white areas uh, indicate that spores have landed on leaves and are, are germinating. So these are the germinating spores. And then if they actually manage to grow and get into the leaf and cause an infection, then that's this orange area here, the so-called primary stroma, but that means infection. So this is indicating a lot of infection if nothing happens to, to stop it. Another thing that uh, RIMPRO gives you is, is information about uh, ascospore maturity, which we've become used to uh, talking about. Uh, here's our pool of 10,000 spores, and you can see that as of today, roughly 60% um, have matured and been released. But notice that there are a lot more left to mature and be released uh, over the next few weeks. So we're a long way from done with the ascospore, uh, ascospore maturation process and a long way from the end of scab season. So John and I really like RIMPRO and we've seen it in action and learned a couple of things uh, this year in our experimental plots. Uh, for one thing, it indicated that the early wedding periods this year were not all that serious. In fact, in low inoculum orchards, uh, they really didn't meet the threshold of where they would cause infection. Um, they, it did predict this major infection period that we're in now and showed us that uh, a strategy would be to put on some protectant and then there is predicted to be a window at which we can go in after the fact with a post-infection spray, something like uh, Flint or Inspire Super or Fontellus uh, and a uh, protectant, and Mancozeb, uh, in order to uh, pick up any mistakes that we might have made in, a, in a putting on our protectant with the uh, post-infection fungicide. We really like this tool. It's undoubtedly the most sophisticated scab management tool out there. It uh, gives you a lot of information. It does take some time to get used to it, uh, but really not all that much if you work with it a little bit. And uh, we recommend it highly, so uh, give it a try.